Hi, how you guys doing? This is William Myers from Manus Outdoors. Today, I'm in front of a plant that has a really, really bad reputation. Don't go away. All right, guys, so what we got here is wild parsnip. And like I said, this plant gets a pretty bad reputation for being what's called poison parsnip. Actually, it's just not really poisonous. What happens is I could touch this plant pretty much all that I want, but if I snap the stem of this second year growth right here, the juices that come off that stem, if I get that on my skin and I'm sweating and I'm underneath the sun, I'm gonna get what's called photodermatitis and it's really, really nasty blisters and, and a really bad rash, not fun. <coughs> you know, ulcerating skin condition, it's just really, really bad. But that only happens if I break the stem. So like I said, I could touch this plant all that I want and the leaves especially, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. All right, so this is a pretty invasive species. What happens is, you know, somebody plants this somewhere and the, the wind blows the seeds around, birds disperse the seeds around, and it gets uh, dispersed all throughout the, uh, the countryside. And as you can see in the background, we're gonna get kind of a bigger shot of this. This wild parsnip uh, plot here goes back quite a ways. I mean, it's pretty much taken over here. And you know, people do things like uh, parsnip eats. You know, like in, in the fall, you know, after a couple of freezes, they'll go through and they'll harvest as much parsnips as they can. I mean, I've seen a whole communities that do this in efforts to wipe out or at least control the wild parsnip population, which doesn't, absolutely does not work. I mean, this stuff's just too voracious. You can feed 10,000 people this stuff and you're not gonna do anything to the population. So, you know, efforts to control need to be found, but haven't been found yet. But, like I said, this is one of the plants that is an awesome food source. But the bad thing about that is, is one, you're going to be wanting to look for first year rosettes. And we're going to get close ups of that as well. And you're going to want to mark that area. <coughs> and then you're going to want to wait till at least the first frost. You, even better if you give it a couple frost. The more frost that, that it's exposed to, the sweeter that that root's going to be. And that's what you're going to want to get down to. You're going to want to dig down mark your area and then dig down and harvest the root of that area now that root stores very very well you know a root cellar type of uh, a root you know, i've even heard people putting it in uh, damp sand and it'll keep all fall so this is uh, something that can you know be the thought of sustaining you throughout of a rough winter uh, survival situation like i said you're going to have to wait till the first frost you know it's kind of a, a little bit on the bitter side if, you, if we pull this now uh, so i mean you know if, if you can find it then great. If not, then you're not going to find it. But this is a really, really good food source, kind of a more of a, a homesteading, prepping plant. But a great plant to know, and a great plant to identify. Alright guys, so this is the second year growth here. Get close on that flower cluster there. Them leaves in there. This is that first year rosette. Uh, let's get a good one here. This is a nice uh, first year rosette here. This is what you're going to be wanting to look for to mark that out times of uh, harvest. Alright guys, so this has been William Myers with Mass Outdoors. Just wanted to kind of hopefully clear up some uh, some of the misconceptions about this plant. You know, it is not poisonous to the touch. Like I said, if it's broken and any of the sap from the stem gets on you, then you're going to run into some issues there. But other than that, the roots of this plant are very, very edible and the leaves as well are edible. Do your research on that. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you click subscribe. Like my video, it helps me out a lot. I appreciate all your views, comments, and support. And hopefully, we'll see you out in the woods. Hi, how you guys doing? This is William Myers from Manus Outdoors. Today I'm beside a plant that's get. Uh, ooh, that sucked. <laughs> Alright, so this is pretty... Uh, okay, whew. Pause. No, all right, you're good. Okay. <laughs> Dermot! <laughs> good. You had one, one job. job. One job. <laughs>